Hello and welcome. The Chemistry Discussion Forum, Science Madness, recently had a discussion about detecting low activity from radioisotope. I mentioned this website before, and some of you may be subscribers or regular contributors. If you want to check it out, sciencemadness.org. A recent topic in the radiochemistry section talked about detecting rubidium-87. This isotope makes up about 28% of all rubidium and is a beta emitter with a half-life of about 50 billion years. I talked about it in the previous video, link in the description. Rhenium-187 and rubidium-87 have no gamma for my detector to pick up, so not much to see here but background. Unlike last time, I tried to detect it using a different method. For the inner working of the liquid scintillation counter, check out my carbon dating video. A Geiger counter will probably give poor or no detection at all. And as shown previously, even metal rubidium is undetectable with a three inch sodium iodide gamma spectrometer. To pick it up, I dissolved one gram of rubidium chloride in 100 milliliters of deionized water. To get a 10,000 ppm solution, which I mixed with the scintillation cocktail to get a textbook detection beta spectrum. Now this is cool and I don't think anybody has done this before on YouTube at least. But because of its long half-life and single stable decay daughter, rubidium 87 will be very important in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for another first. I apologize for this teaser and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.